Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. It's been a while since I've sat next to a desk that looks like this, hasn't it? It's been way too long. So today what I'd like to announce is that through FUTO, we are going to be offering free, open to the public, repair workshops for anybody who wants to come by and learn how to use the equipment on this desk to work on their stuff. Over the past few months, I've announced that I now work at an organization called FUTO. Their goal is to give people back a sense of control and freedom over their technology, both their hardware and their software. So far, we've done a lot of grants to open source projects to focus on tech freedom. We have been working on some in-house engineering projects for open source software that respects the user, doesn't spy on you, doesn't advertise to you and crap like that. And this is going to be continuing in that vein. Part of it is not just having software that's open source that doesn't abuse you, but also having a feeling that you can actually work on the hardware that you have, because as Kyle at iFixit says, if you can't fix it, you don't own it. And we want people to have that feeling of ownership. And part of what gives you that feeling of ownership is the ability to open your stuff and work on it. Now, a lot of people don't really know how this stuff works. They don't know how to open their stuff and work on it. In the beginning, I didn't know much about it either. So we would like to have these desks set up here where anybody could come in who doesn't really know how to use a hot air station, may not be really proficient with a soldering iron, may not be comfortable with a microscope, and come by, try it out, and be able to ask questions from other experts that'll be in the room that'll be happy to answer your questions. Last year, we had people coming by with everything from 15-year-old mouse buttons to CB radios that they ripped components off of that they wanted to get to work again. And the one thing that was shared throughout all these projects is that when the mouse button clicked again or the CB radio started to get stations in again as a result of work that was done by the owner of that product themselves, that is a really cool kick of dopamine, even if it's a $2 mouse. It is a cool feeling to feel like you fixed that with your own two hands. And even if you couldn't make it work again, you tried. It's a good feeling. And we want more people to experience that feeling, more people to understand that their hardware are not magical black boxes that they are not permitted to open, but rather simply pieces of hardware, devices the same way that we used to have 50 to 70 years ago when it was expected that you'd be able to open it and there's a schematic inside and you can work on it. We want to bring that back. And what better way to bring that back than by having all of this stuff be open to the public under supervision where people can ask questions and get answers. This is going to be really cool. And I'm very, very excited to be a part of it. I'm very, very excited about the founder of this organization's mission. And I am humbled and honored to be a part of it. Above all, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited to be here with the opportunity to start fresh. Three years ago, I was really, really outgrowing the place that I had, and I leased a new facility. And it opened in New York City in February of 2020. Great, great, great timing. Whether it was between getting screwed over by the contractor, screwed over by COVID, riots, an 18-month-long New York State financial audit where I thought I was going to lose everything I had, the last three years have not exactly been very fun. So the opportunity to have everything that's in that store put into an 18-wheeler truck, which is going to be arriving a week from now, and brought all the way over here where we can start from scratch, I'm kind of excited about it. But above all, I'm excited to be able to start from scratch on a cool note offering something to the public that would have been so beneficial to me if it was available when I started my business 15 years ago. The ability to feel like, even if I didn't know how any of this worked, that I wouldn't have to put three to $6,000 or $10,000 into equipment I didn't know how to use and try to figure out how to use it myself. The ability to come to a place with no financial investment, no subscriptions, no membership, no pay for this, that, or the other, and be able to sit down at a desk and work on my stuff and ask questions when I screwed something up to somebody who had more knowledge than me. It's gonna be really awesome to be able to offer this. And as crappy as the past three years have been, maybe the fact that I'm able to offer this to the public on a full-time basis, not just one or two of these a month like I used to because I was limited by the fact that I had to run my for-profit business in a place with almost $14,000 a month of rent. Now I can actually offer this full-time, open to the public for anybody to come by. It's gonna be cool. Maybe everything happens for a reason. Never know. Either way, I'm happy and I hope all of you will be when you get to experience what it is we're going to be offering here. Do stay tuned. Take a look at the community page for updates on when all of this will be open to the public. It is going to be rough in the beginning. I'm going to have a lot of stuff coming in here from my shop in New York City 
and we're also going to be figuring out what works with regards to the format and everything else, you know, what stuff should be on the desk, what shouldn't. We're going to be getting furniture and shelving and everything up in here to make it a little bit more comfortable to work on projects and stuff like that. And I promise I'm going to get back to all your emails. A lot of you have been incredibly gracious and said, Louis, are you going to have this at this place? And I say no. And they go, well, I have one I'd love to donate where it's just different supplies, different equipment and stuff like that. That would be really cool to have here. I'm hoping to be able to get a little bit of community engagement with this where if people, you know, again, they want to donate stuff like that, I can figure out a way to make it available, put it somewhere where anybody will be able to use it who comes by. We're going to be across the street from University of Texas, just one block away, open to the public very soon. Um, all of you have been incredibly generous with your time, your business, and your encouragement over the past 10 years on YouTube and 15 years in business. And I'm hoping that with this, I'll be able to start repaying all of you back a little bit of what you've given me over the years. Thank you very much for everything. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now. <laughs>